In this video, I'll rank the weapons based on how good they are for loud missions. Before I go on, here are a few disclaimers. Number one, I'm not going to include the pistols because they're not intended as primary loud weapons. And no, Akimbo isn't actually that good. Number two, I'm not going to include the thumper because it's more of a breaching tool than a weapon. And number three, I know the weapons are unbalanced, but I don't encourage my viewers to beg the shadow for updates. Anyway, let's get started. First, we have the F57, which is the overall best gun in the game. The F57 is an automatic rifle with a large clip size, lots of ammo, high DPS, and long range. These capabilities make the F57 a great choice for every loud mission in the game. It's also the best weapon, aside from arguably the thumper or grenades, for taking out the gunships. Furthermore, it uses the same bullets as the saw blade, which means that in some missions, you can refill lots of ammo from the saw blades found in the map. Then there's the CHA, which is also really good. The CHA can easily kill normal units with one headshot, and it has a lot of range, which is great against snipers and faraway units. With Sniper Mastery, you can pierce shields, which is great against shield and Aegis units. Sniper Mastery also allows you to shoot through bulletproof glass, which is useful in the Black Sight, SCRS, Lake House, and Black Dusk. However, the CHA's ammo can't be refilled, and it doesn't have much ammo in the first place. Also, its low fire rate and small clip size make it a risky choice for fighting swarms in close range. Overall, the F57 and the CHA are the best weapons, as they complement each other really well. By default, you should always bring these weapons in loud, unless you have a good reason to use a different one. The next best weapon is the CBRC. Generally speaking, the CBRC is a bit lackluster compared to the F57. However, if you have full rifle training, a suppressor, and at least 12 vital targets perks, then it can actually kill SWAT units with one headshot. This essentially makes the CBRC like a slightly better CHA in some missions, which is very useful. It may not pierce shields, but it has a larger clip size, more ammo, and a faster fire rate. Unfortunately, other enemies like Steel Cove and TRU have more health than SWAT units and won't be one-shotted, which makes the CBRC a bad choice in missions without SWAT units. Then there's the 480MCS, which is decent, but definitely not the best. Each 480MCS shot fires 8 pellets, and the farther away the target, the more those pellets spread out. In close range, the spread isn't that bad, so you should be able to one-shot units very easily. This makes the 480MCS a viable choice for missions that consist primarily of close-range combat, such as the Deposit, the Withdrawal, the Kill House, and the Black Sight. However, this gun is pretty much useless in long range, so it's not very versatile. Part of me feels like this gun deserves a slight buff, but that would also buff shotgun squads, so yeah, maybe it's better that it doesn't get buffed. Next is the MM20. The MM20 fires in bursts of 3 shots, which allows you to shoot really quickly if you spam click. In terms of damage per second, the MM20 absolutely shreds enemies, making it powerful for short and medium range. However, its ammo runs out really quickly. Since no units use the MM20, the only way to refill ammo is from the K45, which uses the same bullets. In the operative difficulty and lower, shield units use K45s, but in Elite and above, it's only the guards in certain missions that use them. Since it runs out of ammo fast and it's hard to refill, the MM20 just isn't that practical and you almost always have to switch it out for another gun. Next, we have the saw blade. The saw blade uses the same bullets as the F57, but it has a clip size of 100 instead of 30. However, the saw blade also makes you move really slowly, which is just painful if you have a bag and armor as well. If you use the saw blade instead of the F57, then you're exchanging a bigger clip size for slower movement speed, more spread, and less range, which isn't worth it most of the time. Also, fun fact, if you prone while using the saw blade, then that activates the bipod, which decreases spread and recoil. 
Finally, we have the S97. The S97 has a lot of damage per second, which makes it viable in close range. Like the MM20, the ammo runs out fairly quickly, but at least it can be refilled from units that use the S97. The main problem with this gun is that it has a lot of recoil, which makes it difficult to aim properly in long and medium range. Overall, the S97 just feels like a worse version of the F57, so I wouldn't recommend using it. In conclusion, the guns in EP are really unbalanced, and there's a pretty clear meta. I know I didn't mention attachments in this video, so here's a spreadsheet with the recommended attachments for every weapon. Also, if you're 13 or older, then I would recommend joining the unofficial EP server, which is linked in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.